Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a, well, it's going to be for the more talk on the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie that I watched again last night. And yeah, uh, I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about in this video and let you know my thoughts on this movie uh, that I watched for a second time. So let's dive into this video. Now, I tried uploading this video a moment ago, and it wasn't letting me. So I was like, son of a bitch. It's like, I guess I'm just... Uh, give me a moment. I'm just checking this file. Uh, yeah, give me a moment. I'm just fixing this right now. Uh, yeah, it was giving me an error message saying, oh, uh, delete this file or something like that, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm not gonna, uh, say that I'm gonna upload it again, because, yeah, uh, I was checking my phone, sorry, now to talk about the movie, um, yeah, this movie, I like the opening scene, that was very good. Um, where it showed Hanzo Sashi and his family, and they're just having a regular day, and his wife's landscaping, and while he's grabbing a bucket of water, and his son's checking on Cole, of course, the baby, uh, which is, you find out later on, his name's Cole. When you watch it for a second time, you're like, oh, I know who that is now. Uh... Because when you watch it the first time, you're just like, who's the baby? And then you come to find out the story mostly, the whole story and the plot focuses on Cole a little too much. And the only problem with it is there wasn't enough teamwork in this movie that much. There was, it was there, it was just, it's like most of these characters went their separate ways on fighting someone else, uh, so, yeah, there wasn't enough chemistry between all these characters, uh, there was some, meaning by, uh, there wasn't enough, I guess you could say teamwork kind of sh shit or whatever, I don't fucking know, but, yeah, uh, the opening scene was great, and Hanzo does die. You see that at the after you watch 11 minutes of it. And then you go to the next scene, which is where Cole comes in uh, as an adult, and he has a family. And pretty much, he's uh, just fighting uh, in the ring or whatever, and then... Uh, just, yeah, he meets Jax, and then, uh, Jax helps him to get away from Sub-Zero to help his family, too, as well, and then Sub-Zero fights Jax, and Jax loses his arms in that fight. He loses his gun first, and then he loses his arms. So I'm like, oh shit, he is fucked. <laughs> Sub-Zero really kicked his ass. Pretty much. Um, yeah, uh, then it goes to where Cole meets Sonya Blade, and then it just... It gets better when Kano comes in, because he really stole the show with this movie. You actually notice that Kano is probably one of the best characters in this movie. As much as he's a talker, he really embraced his role in this movie, and that's what I really liked about this movie. I was like, okay, this is actually not as bad as I thought. Sure, the first half of it is a bit fast-paced. After you watch the opening scene, and when you get to the cold part leading up all the way to where they go to the uh, Raiden's temple. It starts to get very fast-paced. And the guy that played Shang Tsung wasn't too bad. Uh, 
I actually like the original guy that played Shang Tsung because he was great. Because uh, that guy that played Shang Tsung, and he also played in the video games too, voiced over his character in the video games. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, the guy that played Shang Tsung was he was good. Uh, he wasn't too bad. Uh. And the guy that played Sub-Zero wasn't bad. The guy that played Scorpion, of course, great actor. I really like him as an actor. Uh, I'll have to look up his name or something. Because I tend to forget sometimes some actors' names. But he was in a lot of movies. <laughs> um, After that, just... It gets to the Raiden's Temple, and then... Kano decides who, which side he's gonna be on. Sorry, my eye is just messing up a bit. Not messing up, it's just itchy. Uh, but, I'm sorry if I was rubbing it. Um, yeah, and then you see Cabal in this, and his speed is pretty fast. The one thing I did like about this movie was the fatality with Kung Lao and Natara. Natara gets fatalized really bad in this movie. And I'm like, holy shit, that was actually pretty cool. So there's a lot of blood and gore in this movie, and I really like that. They did very well on the blood and gore in this. The CGI is great. You don't really hear Goro talk that much. I think only one time he talked, but after that, you don't really hear him talk. He's just like, ooh, ooh, kind of shit. Uh, and I'm just like, that's kind of stupid. Uh, but it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, and it builds up to a sequel towards the end of the movie. After they beat all the Shang Tsung's warriors and all that. And the Sub-Zero and Scorpion fight. And Cole as well. Was great at the end. That was the best part of the end of the movie. I really like the end of the movie. It's very good. So for the runtime, I think I watched almost 99 minutes of it. So yeah. But I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it was a good movie. It just has some fast-paced moments in the movie that I'm not sure if I like. Because the first half just technically was a bit fast-paced and just not interesting too much. But it was just building up towards the second half. And that's what made it much better, the second half of the movie. And the opening scene was great. It's just after that, there was a bit of cheese towards some characters in the movie. But Kano really stole the show with this movie. That is going to be it for this uh, more talk on the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. If you hear that cat, I'm really sorry. My uh, family cat, uh, she does that a lot. Uh, but comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the more talk on the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie if you like this video and if you did like this video comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel I will be returning to you for a track review in a little bit for Beartooth's new song hell of it so I'm gonna definitely give that song a shot and hopefully it's good because I do like Beartooth. They're very good at uh, what they go for with their style of music. But, yeah, um, I hope you did enjoy this, uh, well, more talk on the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. I tried I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Definitely stay safe. Take care. Hope, Like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next one.